We need to start packing. Time to stir our witch's brew. Yes. Good job, baby. Ready? We're gonna put it in. You have never heard of Swedish candy. It is the most elite candy. Right now, the Dodgers are playing in the World Series. What does the ghost say? Good morning. Two days before Finn's second birthday. I can't even believe it. It is just mind blowing to think about how quickly the years go by. And like, no matter how much I try to soak it in, here we are. We need to start packing to go home to visit our family and celebrate his birthday as well as trick or treating. I always go back east during this time of year because it is so special to me. But first I need to make some breakfast, make some witch's brew, aka my matcha, and then handle the rest of the chores. Ready? Let's crack some eggs. Yeah, it's an egg. Go ahead. Okay. Show me, come on, out. You Good did job. it! Good job! Remember, we don't leave the shell in there. We leave it in here. Mm -hmm. Nice, I hear it. Yes! Good job, baby. We can do one more and then done, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll wash it. Say bye-bye, Daddy. Have a good day at work. Love you. Okay, no, we don't need four eggs. Done. Yeah, done. Mm -hmm. Well, you cracked it. Go ahead. I feel like I'm getting really close to perfecting my morning matcha. I'm trying really hard not to buy them out because they're just so expensive. I'm using the Chamberlain matcha because I feel like it's the most affordable and flavorful. I really only have so much left. We're just gonna use it all. I like mine to be super heavy on the matcha flavor. So I use more than is recommended in the directions. For those of you who are unfamiliar with matcha or wonder why I drink matcha and not coffee, I have never liked coffee, never got into it. And I also just personally don't care for the flavor. I don't even like coffee ice cream. Now time to stir our witch's brew. In the face now, if I'm stirring anything and he sees it, he has to be a part of it. It is super cute and I do love it, but it does slow down the progress, which is okay. I like that I'm able to slow down. Only thing that flusters me is how flustered he gets. He isn't able to do something. We're both practicing patient. Oh, I just put in this vanilla bourbon paste from Trader Joe's. Vanilla bean. It really adds to the flavor of the matcha. So I'm gonna go get some maple syrup from Vermont, of course. Good job. Now you don't wanna stir it? That doesn't need to go in there, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, my hand's cold. Ooh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Does that mean you want some? Okay, you can put your hand in this. Now, typically I have been an almond milk girl, but I've been watching matcha TikToks and everyone leans towards the Chobani oat milk extra creamy. I do love oat milk. I was just trying to get a little bit more protein from the almond. Now this is where it gets tricky because you don't want to put too much milk so your matcha just tastes like milk. I'm gonna put just the right amount. I've been trying to learn the ratios. It's not easy. That's my favorite part when the matcha meets the milk. You want your matcha to be almost a neon green color. I feel like we're kind of there. Yummy. Okay, I see why people use the milk. That's a big chunk of ice. Can you throw it in the sink? No. <laughs> Everything is no. Ben <laughs> <laughs> is sitting here enjoying his little Cheerios. He's in a Cheerio phase right now. So I'm gonna go turn on some Super Monsters, another show he's obsessed with, and I need to answer some emails. Excited to see your family soon? Are yeah. oh, you got Buddy? No, but I'm packing it. Okay, we are done for the day. We have to set the ambiance. It's time. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, things are looking extra spooky. So sorry guys, there was a huge chunk of time where I was not vlogging because I was working. And then afterwards, Finn and I went on a little stroll. We went to go pick up some pizza and then Ryan always loves a Starbucks. So we thought we'd surprise him and get him a Starbucks. And then on the way back, we stopped to look at the decor. But right now we are just feasting on our pizza. Finn almost crushed like half of it. We love getting the cauliflower crust pizza from Fresh Brothers. I need to go give him a bath and I am not packed a single thing. So I need to do that. But also like want to make time to enjoy maybe a few Halloween episodes of some of my favorite nostalgic episodes of Liz McGuire, That's a Raven, and even Stevens, Sweet Life is Out and Cody, Hannah Montana, you know, all the millennial nostalgic episodes I must get in. And I wanna like enjoy them with my decorations, if that makes sense, because I know my family decorates when I go home, but there's something like really special about the items you chose and how like you've done something and the atmosphere that you're in during that time. That's the plan. I could probably pack in and watch those. And then I just need to put Finn to bed. Okay, you ready to take your spooky bath? Wait, what is, that's your lush bath bomb. Take it out, that's for your bath. Whoa, can you show me? You like it? Okay, let's turn on the bath and we'll pop it in there. You love it. Ready? We're gonna put it in. Now this is a very exciting package for me because if you follow me on TikTok, you know I'm like the Swedish candy queen or one of them of TikTok. I absolutely love it. This is my kind of Halloween candy, the adult Halloween candy. And they have a store here called Soccer Bit and I go all the time. I haven't been in a while because they were sold out of Bub, but I heard that they're restocking and they wanted to send me their spooky mix. So I'm excited to see what is in the spooky mix. I see a little gummy worm in there. And then they sent me some of my other favorite little treats, which is so sweet of them. I'm actually gonna save this box for Finn's birthday. Hint, hint, I'll actually show you guys another hint because you guys are the real ones, the OG followers. Oh my gosh, these look so incredible. Some of my faves are in this. You have never heard of Swedish candy. It is the most elite candy ever. And people ask me like all the time why I feel that way. It's the texture for me. And the flavoring, it's as real as you can get. So like little jelly bonbons. Mm. When you bite into it, it's like artwork. Mm, so yummy. Thank you so much, Dr. Bit, for sending me this yummy candy. The gummy marshmallow hearts are one of my favorites. So pillowy and delicious. These are Ryan and I's top three favorite candies. They're little like strawberry cream twists. Love me a pineapple. Anyways, I need to start packing. Like right now. My closet is an absolute nightmare. I don't know about clothing organization. It's just not my forte. I try and I try and I try. Oh well. Okay, so I have to pack for me and Finn. Ryan already packed. I'm thinking I'm just gonna pack some comfy clothes. I'm just going home. And the only thing I really need that's somewhat nice is for Finn's birthday party. Last year, we actually did a family photo shoot. That was so much fun. I kind of wish we did it again this year because it was so memorable to look back on. I'm not too concerned about having to pack like outfits because Montana and Vermont were a different story. I absolutely have to pack my skeleton onesie. Right now, the Dodgers are playing in the World Series. There's a high school football game going on. One of my favorite things is hearing everybody cheer in the stadium. Buddy, come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. There's like four different games going on in LA, so the traffic was absolutely a nightmare. I'm so glad I did not have to go on the highway today. Pick out one of your Halloween books. You ready? Make room for mommy? Oh, your head are okay? Get in the book, silly goose. Happy Halloween, Corduroy. Corduroy loves the fall. It's time for Halloween. First, he visits the pumpkin patch. Which pumpkin will you choose, Corduroy? You see the scary scarecrow? <laughs> you love him? No. Yeah. Next, Corduroy buys candy for the trick-or-treaters and makes his costume. Ooh, I love this page. This book has such good illustration. No. Where's Finn? Where'd he go? No. <laughs> you silly boy. Oh. We're not done reading. Look how spooky his decorations are. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for Halloween party. Corduroy and his friends have apple cider and cookies. Ah! Wow, that looks like a fun party. Yeah. Are you feeling sleepy? What does a ghost say? Ah. Boo. I'm gonna turn the lights off. 
and go in the night with your spooky lights for one last sleep until we go to Maryland. I got Finn down for bed and I'm in the den right now working on a little bit of party prep because I finished packing. As you can tell, his theme is Toy Story. He's obsessed. He loves Buzz so much. So I printed these out and then actually I'm just going to not cut those tonight and just make sure that they're neatly packed. And then I'm going to take this box and write Finn's toys on it like Andy has in the movie. The other side too. I've been loving at night that the jack-o'-lantern in the den glows off onto the wall. It adds an extra little flare in here. I'm starting to feel like I'm going to miss my decor when I come home and have to take it all down. This is my last night to just sit for a minute and enjoy it. So I put on Hocus Pocus, my favorite Halloween movie, to just cherish the last day. But I'm also so excited to go home. Okay, it is time for me to get to bed. I'm gonna Take off all my makeup, put my makeup remover, and pack my makeup bag as well as my contacts. I cannot forget those or I have a serious problem, just like any other toiletries that I need. But overall, I feel pretty good about it. I'm not stressed. Usually, I'm like stressed the night before I'm running around like a chicken. How do you say it? Running around with my head cut off like a chicken. I don't know. It's just kind of chaos and I don't feel that way, so that's really nice. I just hope tomorrow Finn is good on the plane. We only have one more plane ride until he no longer can be a lap child, which is kind of monumental. I'm trying really hard to get the Southwest companion bath because having to pay for an extra person is going to be quite expensive. We do love to travel, so that would be helpful. Alright you guys, well the next vlog might be Finn's birthday party or it'll just be a hometown Halloween vlog. Either way, it will be another vlog whether they're mixed in together or two separate ones. I just want to make sure I capture it all because it goes so quick and I'm so glad I get to look back on these. This is looking spooky. I should have my hair up. Let me finish getting ready for bed and see you guys in the next one.